I got into twirling about seven months ago because my kid is a puss. Take her to all these camps, right? Tournament after tournament, lo and behold, she gets boy crazy and says, Ma, I don't want to twirl anymore. So I says, up yours, kid, up yours. God, so I'm going to do it, right? So I'm between split shifts at the refinery and spying on Tiff to make sure she don't get knocked up. I go to practices at the academy. My parents divorced when I was 12. I went to live with my mom, and my dad moved to Nacogdoches, Texas, and became an Amway salesman. Never really saw him. Maybe once, twice a year, sometimes less. Uh, you know, no big deal, whatever. Uh, but eh, mostly there was a void there. So I began to try and express my emotions through music. I tried out for the band my freshman year. Um, but the band director, I think, had it out for me or something. Because he took me aside and said, uh, had some mandibular separation that I should avoid woodwinds. Uh, I don't know if I buy that. So next, I decided to put my emotions down on paper, try my hand at songwriting. Don't put down that six pack gum. Like most artists, I was misunderstood. So I, I decided to back burner my music career until, you know, pop culture caught up with my musical vision. Shelly just can't stop oh. talking about how much she loves the Academy. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, yesterday she was such a little chatterbox we had to strap her to the pole of discipline for 30 minutes before she would concentrate on her studies. <laughs> kidding. Kidding, kidding. Of course. Shelly, what drew you to twirling in the first place? Oh, well, it's simple. Uh, the first time Cody and I brought her to the Wheat and Turkey Trot Parade, she saw a twirler. And the way her eyes lit up, it is all she's wanted to do from that moment on. Yeah, Well. She didn't actually come out and say it, mm. but I knew. We knew. We did. This is exactly where our daughter wants to be. Mm -hmm. You have to know your child. Thank heavens we do. 16, that is a really rough age for a child. They don't know what they want. And they can start up with the sass talk. Our kid's no different. We have to help her make decisions with life. After 12 years of baton twirling, training camps, and what not, what have you. She hasn't lost her enthusiasm. When we open the door to no. the basement, she just races out to get to practice. She just runs right out. Without her saying a word, we just feel that our daughter is exactly where she wants to be. Oh, Isn't yeah. that right, Shelly? Shelly definitely thinks so. Of course you're right. <laughs> like all parents, we're going to help her make decisions. Speaking of decisions, what? Oh, fiddle six! Rush down to bed at 6.30. You have a 4 a.m. training session tomorrow. And don't forget to finish the broccoli on the counter. Shelly, don't give us a look. Eyeballing is a night on a pole! Strap you in. <laughs> Right in the back seat. Yahweh's little man rides shotgun in this holy hoopty. Drinky. I am sorry I'm running so late. Seder ran long, and then Rabbi Rabinowitz was just talking out of his two kiss like he always does, and he wouldn't stop. And you know, I, I don't know if I really have time for this, because in 20 minutes I have to be at the mission, and I haven't eaten anything. Do we have time? We'll, we'll, we'll make time. I guess this is fine. This is fine, Rose. <laughs> this is fine. Okay. Um, it, it's always confusing when I meet new people because I actually belong to two religious groups. Uh, Jews for Jesus, Shalom, and then Watchmen on the Wall Ministries, Pex Vibiscum. 
some soul sin and they need a guiding hand from the church. With the life I've led, I need, I need a holy bear hug, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know where to start, really. It was May 12, 1970, and my family was headed through the Windsor Tunnel on our way to the Hamilton Championships. Now that is the big league of twirling. And the day turned from pure elation to... Onward, Christian the day turns from pure elation to doom and gloom when we arrive at Irvine Stadium. And, and it seems that the American Twirling Federation had backed out of the championships because these Canadians, they were using illegal batons. Uh, they were uh, using some kind of illegal chrome and they hadn't written a letter to the American officials. So uh, there was no legal documentation that this was okay. So they sent us home and my dreams of being a champion were just dashed. I mean, I was, I was absolutely crushed. I mean, how could my country do that to me? To, to its people, really. I mean, Nixon was lying to us. There were, there were students dying at Kent State. Onward, Christian Soldiers March. And, 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 and they were keeping performers from the stage because of bureaucratic snafus. I mean, <laughs> I get upset about it even now. Um, but anyway, I said, I said F-bomb. It's time for Rose to do what Rose wants to do. And Rose, she started drinking. She started to drink. I started to smoke anything that would hold a flame, and, and Rose slept with everyone except for Johnny Cash. When I first stepped foot in Canada, I was a wide-eyed preteen, settled by my parents, clinging to my training bra and a baton of fire. Oh, that first morning of my competition, my dad was rubbing my wrists and hands down with balm, and my mom was shooting me up with cortisone shots. Oh, they taught me. They taught me. That winning is the difference between twirling with pain and twirling with an injury. Anyway, backstage I remember I was so nervous and then my song came on, Rock On by Michael Damien and I just remember I was, I ran out there and all I could hear was my dad in the stands yelling, who's in it? And my mom yelled back, we're in it! And then they yelled, go Larson's! And it just really spurred me on, you know? And even though I did have a little try cramping, I still did pretty well. I still have the plaque. Uh. Who's the champion? Who's the champion? Who's the champion? <laughs> yeah, 92. Oh, I love you. me up when I'm down and even when I'm not it's it's inspiration and, uh, I finished in fourth place but I got moved up to third when the uh, first place girl was DQ'd for using stickum <laughs> 